Little touch into the path of Marsden, but uh, Rovers win it back from Morton. Morton scrapping though to regain possession. That was good work from Danny Morton. And you don't mind a player making a mistake, Phil, as long as they make amends like that. Yeah, it was good football as well. One, two there. And Morton did make the mistake, but he recovered it very well. Very strong challenge there. And I know Jim Gannon wasn't too happy because he thought it was handball, but uh, count him with a chance here. Marsden oh. and he hits the woodwork. I don't think he knew too much about the shot. It comes back to Garvin who strikes it. It comes to Anna Jay who chests it down for Rule to hit the ball. Blocked by his opposite number. County piling on the pressure. Tranmere Rovers hanging on. Wins the throw. Taken quickly by Conley to Odder Jay in the box. It's Glenn Rule hits the top of the crossbar with the outside of the left boot. Not the best header away by O'Hanlon this time, but uh, Ryan Ellison, he's really growing into that, uh, dare I say, Lewis Montrose role. Just screening the back four there. And he's done well to break up the play and count, launch a counter-attack for the Hatters. It's Marsden now, out to the left wing for Garvin, who's seen a lot of the ball. Great cross in, but Odder Jay, although he finds the back of the net, the flag was up already, offside. Marsden standing Marsden, over it. He'll have a crack. He, if he gets the opportunity, he'll have a crack. Five in the wall for Rovers. Garvin takes, whips it round the wall. What a save by Luke Pilling. Diving across to his left-hand side. Oh, uh, they certainly were last year, of course, in League Two, so it would make sense for them to remain so. Here's uh, Davis. Macruff, Holly down the right flank. Macruff helps it on. Now, Omatola on the turn, left foot shot on target, but a good starting position for Ian Ormson. But, uh, I don't think it'll go to that. I think, can he just get this first one, get the break, and win this? Let's hope so. As, uh, ooh, Hill, oh, mix up between the defender and the goalkeeper, and that allows Marston to steal, and John Marston has continued his run of scoring in every round of this competition. He's now scored in the final and a mix-up between Hill and goalkeeper Pilling. Marsden was quickly onto it like a flash and steered it into the unguarded goal. County lead 1-0. So Rovers with an opportunity. Macrath can bend this in, right-footed. It's too long, too long for Rovers. It's kept alive though by Hogan who fires it back in. And Ormson has spilled it and Rovers have scored. Illisanmi smashes it home from inside the six-yard box. The ball drilled back in by Hogan, spilled by Ormson and drilled home by Illisanmi and Tranmere Rovers. They might not deserve it, but they've got an equaliser. Well, the shirt, no, this is what we were saying, John. You know, it's a good job that County got that fortunate goal up here. So they found themselves adrift, but they can still win this. But I can't believe that they're not using what seems to me... Snapshot from Morton Wine. And they look more aggressive than what they do. And uh, I think if they just catch them out and maybe get another goal, then yeah, that could be it. But uh, it's that second goal that's going to come. Here's Otter J trying to uh, provide that second goal. He's done well against Hill here. Lays it off now for Marsden, who's got Morton on the overlap. Again, four in the box. That was a ball, wasn't it, by the defender? The ball comes back to Marsden, though. He was able to spin away from his marker and gets a shot away. And that wasn't too far wide of himself they've got too detailed to mark him on these long throws it comes through to Morton I think he should have scored because Hill's gone the other way to the other end of the wall and that's opened up the gap but it is in fact oh Garvin's hit the bar and then the header wide by Hogan for the third time tonight the Hatters have rattled the woodwork and that is as close as you'll come without scoring free kick County Smalley right footed the target again. Odder J. Hill stays. Oh, it's a poor clearance. Marsden shots. Pilling with the save. Still yelling instructions even at this late stage of the evening. Into the box now for John Marsden. Marsden with a shot across the face of goal. And Oro sniffing at the near post to his right peg. So they've lost all the shape that they had trampled. Menas corner floated in far post. The defender as well. Just rising above Odder J. The ball cleared back into the county half. Roberts, oh, poor pass back from Roberts. Here's the chance Rovers have waited for, but Danny Morton's there to snuff out the threat. As it is, stays one all. Holly shepherding the ball back to Pilling, oh. who's mistuned it. On a J, he can shoot from distance. It's just gone wide. This is what I said about uh, it's not just tired limbs, is it? It's tired minds as well. Concentration lapses can start to uh, play a part at this stage of the night. We're now in the uh, 
approaching the 100th minute of this game. His men are though, fresh legs from the substitute. Odajayi takes over, wide right at the moment, gives it back to Mena, who plays it through the gap for Marsden, who couldn't quite get the shot away. He'll keep the ball alive, though, for the Hatters. Back inside the penalty area, Marsden's shot, just wide of the far post. It took a deflection, County have a corner, Marsden still very much alive. Free-kick County, it will be Ian Ormson to take this one. The keeper's come a long way outside of his goal for this. Right-footed. Huge booming ball towards Odajay who takes it on his thigh, lays it off to Marsden who fires it over the bar. He's going to whip this in, bends it away from the goalkeeper towards Odajay. Oh, Pilling's come and punched that brilliantly. Great goalkeeping. Well, if you want a goalkeeper to take charge of a situation, Pilling did exactly that and uh, belied his, uh, his youthful... Uh, Appearance there. Here's, here's Marsden inside the box again. Real live wire. Force wide. Shot on the turn. Blocked by Hunter. Comes out though to Mena. Mena now to Ellison, who can give it back to him. Use him as a decoy though. Forces Mena Ellison wide. His cross deflected and almost an own goal. Once again, Jamie Mena standing over it. This will be a right footed in swing. It's the option of the short one. But Mena takes, bends it in. It's gone right across the face of goal and then a miscue by Ellison. He'll recycle it though. And the keeper throws his arms up and gathers that one before Ellison could score. What a shame, Ryan Ellison again. Unfortunately, the miscue came to Tranmere's rescue. Yeah, this again, it's Ryan, Ryan's a battler. He's what I class as a battler. He lacks that little bit of skill factor, but he's a battler. And in all honesty, he's doing well for County in the middle of the park there. Picking up all of them. All he's lobbed the ball forward here for Odder Jay to chase. He's got Marsden to his left. Marsden takes over, Anoro arriving to the right, but Marsden will drive on here and go for goal. It's Marsden, and it's a great save by Pilling, diving high to the top corner, prevented that from going to 2-1 at the cost of a corner. To two hours of uh, excellent football, particularly from the Hatters, who surely deserve more than a penalty shootout. Morton down the line, chance here maybe for the cross from Marsden. And it's going to come all the way through to the substitute. He's palmed away yes! and then turned in and County has gone through Obi Anoro. The first attempt was palmed away by the goalkeeper. But Anoro was there on the follow-up no, and the substitute has headed it home. And surely now there is no way back for Tranmere Rovers. And County are going to claim their first Cheshire Senior Cup in half a century. Well, the first header from Brandon Wilson was palmed away by the goalkeeper. But there was Obi Anoro. It's uh, the uh, home, the uh, the uh, Merseyside team on the ball. Morton slipped and he's lost possession on the far side. A mistake by Morton. Ilasanmi down the line now. Chance of a cross. Omatola's in the box it's and it's it. the sitter. What a chance for Omatola from six yards out. Edgley Park faithful who've made the trip over to Nantwich tonight. What an evening for Stockport County as they claim the Cheshire Senior Cup for the first time in 50 years. Great scenes here at the Weaver Stadium. Great moments for these players to remember as well.